It's with a deep sense of gratitude that I tell you today is my last on Windy City Live. It's been an incredible run, but it's time to move on to the next chapter. Change is scary, but sometimes it's good to be frightened because it makes you grow. And I've learned so much about the craft and myself that I'm honestly beholden to every single person that helped me along the way. So I'm gonna say goodbye like I've won an award, okay? So thanks to my friends and family for supporting my dreams. I moved to Chicago because of a friend and I was once that jobless person that slept on many a couch. I've been walking through our front doors for almost 12 years, so I'd like to thank pretty much everyone in this building, but a special thanks to Danetta for hiring someone who knew nothing about TV. Thanks to all the dedicated behind the scenes folks on the assignment desk, the news writers and producers, you are tireless and have taught me so much. It's been an education. And a special shout out to the photographers who taught me so much. How to be safe on the street, how to get the story, where the best food is. Early on, I worked with one nightside photog named Mark Skodro, who always packed his lunch, would sleep four hours a night so he could wake up to see his girls off to school. I, re I remember thinking, I get it, that's Chicago, salt of the earth. Thanks to news director Jennifer Graves and past assistant director Janet Hunley for giving me the opportunity to train me as a news writer. And thanks to Blanca Rios for answering every panicked question I had along the way throughout the years. Paul Mikey, the most incredible example of a man and reporter for giving me the chance to work on the very first Blagojevich trial with him. And to my TV mom, Linda Yu, when I tell you she has done countless amount of good for so many people that you will never hear about it, believe me, I am one of them. She has given me shelter from the storm, figuratively and literally. Thanks to all the talent for letting me join your esteemed ranks and for all those behind the scenes for never treating me like talent. To my Windy City Live family, Marlene Seelup and Cindy Petrasso for hiring me. Everyone needs someone to give them their big break and Marlene did that for me. She saw more in me than I did for myself and she always went to the mat for her beliefs and vision and I will never forget that or you. I hope you meet many Marlenes in your life. To my EP Matt for always figuring out creative ways for me to shine and to all the producers, past and present, who work so hard but never get the glory that we do on air. Our incredible crew, we are small but mighty. For my dear Val and Ryan, this is really their show. They auditioned through a national casting call. It's pretty rare to have folks in this business willing to share the spotlight with you. And they did with so much generosity and encouragement. Mama Bear, Sally Sunshine, and Captain Rumi, you are loved. Most importantly, I'd like to thank you at home and in our audience over the past seven years. God, what a freaking honor it has been to be invited into your homes and to get to know you. If it wasn't for the Wendy's, I would have never been moved from that little table to the big adult table. Thank you so much for your patience with me as I grew, encouraging me. I will cherish your kind words and meeting you on the streets, on the train and in the grocery stores for the rest of my days. The validation and kindness you've shown me gives me continual hope and strengthens me on my journey. What a privilege it has been. Thanks for giving me a chance. I've gotten to know so many of you personally through social media and in our studio. The show has given me so much. I've jumped out of a plane. I met the rock. I rappelled down a building. I've zip lined. I faced my biggest fear, clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I've shared my tragedy and my joy. Out of everything, you stand out in my mind more than anything. I can't ever give you what you've given me, but I hope my unlikely story of a Korean American first generation immigrant from a small podunk town down south, moving to the big, big city of Chicago 12 years ago with two suitcases, knowing one person in the city inspires you to maybe try something you've always wanted to do, no matter how small or big. Thank you. We'll be right back.